All right, so today is one of those days where like I left my house, didn't really expect anything crazy to happen. And so first I accidentally run into this man's mother. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I run into the man himself, Jimmy O. What's up? And Steph. Hi. We're outside as they say. Yes, we are outside. What'd you drive here, anything good? Uh, Audi S6. Okay. okay. Twin turbo V8 the last year. This kid's got money. Jeez. <laughs> don't, don't listen to him. <laughs> at least he had it at one point. I mean, <laughs> good for you. That's a dope car. Thank you. But yeah. I have that, and then I also have a um, 1995 uh, Impreza Coupe. Okay. Yeah, I was I was waiting for the project. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How I'll rusty is it? Actually, very little. Surprise. For a North yeah. East yeah, car, yeah, yeah. surprising. Those things didn't last. That's yeah, because cool. most of them were like EO32 or worse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, no. Yeah. Uh, two door? Yeah, yeah, nice, yeah. Nice. Unfortunately, it's it's auto for now, but I plan on What's going that? STI 6 speed. There you go. There you go. That could, well, you need a pedal. Boom. You know, you're done. I have a set of pedals. Nice. I have a lead on like drivetrain wise and everything else. But yeah, yeah. um, I'm assuming that stuff got hard to find, like everything else in the world right now. Um, because I remember si you can get a six speed trans with like the axles and everything. It was like what thirty five hundred dollars whenever you needed it, right? That was like boom. Yeah. Yeah. Because unfortunately you have between that and then you have like JDM stuff, there's differences and everything else. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm picky in that sense. You should just buy my uh, bug eye and you know, swap it all oh over. Oh my, the day, no, don't, don't tell me that. <laughs> don't tell me that. Like, sit out back for way too long. I've said it before watching your videos, I was like, truck and trailer. If I asked this man like, hey, do you want that anymore? It's I got no strut towers left, but it's got a good drivetrain. Typical Northeast car. Yeah, yeah literally. Yeah. But I was gonna say to you, um, that car's plans are just uh, 700 horsepower, uh, hopefully just, to the wheels. Uh, just 700 horsepower. Yeah, well, here's a, a lot of cars. Here's the thing. That was stage one. After that, it's supposed to be well over a thousand that's and scare good. scare me shitless. And that what, was what engine? That's the thing. It's a combo that's kind of like never been done before. Okay. So I'm keeping Sounds that expensive. under wraps. Sounds expensive. It could be. <laughs> it could be. Are you gonna use a uh, super engine? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm one of those people where I'm not really a crazy big fan of like say like sorry Brian, but like stuffing something from another brand into oh, a car. I love it. It's I, so good. It's different so, strokes, different oh, folks. Yeah. Good strokes. <laughs> Boring stroke in this case. Boring yeah. stroke, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what are your plans coming up for like next season? Next season? Yeah. I'm still trying to get through the weekend. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough point. I, I'll give you that. Maybe a little too far into the future. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just keep chugging along. See what we're doing. Yeah. I want to get that super nice. My super is rough. But it has potential. So that's the goal. Get that thing nice. Now, because I literally never get to like message you or anything, yeah, I'm yeah. seeing you now. Um, have you ever thought about swapping a VH45D into one of your 240s? So I like the VH, but it's really big. Mm -hmm. It's not that easy to work on. Mm. Um, it's a cool engine because it's basically two SR20s. Yeah. Um, but it's not the most efficient V8 you can put in the car. Okay. If you're gonna put a V8 into something, I think you more do it because it's like brand correct, okay. or you like the noise, the noise of it. And then you put the, you can put the Porsche intake on it. They look pretty cool. They do. Um, but in terms of efficiency of like power per dollar and ease per dollar, ease per installation, and everything, yeah. I don't think it's. The, Financially. It's, it's a lot easier to just throw an LS or something and it fits better. That's and, true. And so it's like, if you're about the brand and the noise, that means a lot to you, do it. Yeah, I mean, you can get a junkyard 5.3 all day, so I, I get yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. I get it. So that makes sense. For it, but different strokes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the R33, are we doing anything with that or? The what? The R33, are you be doing anything with that or are you just keeping it the way it is? Um, it's like kind of, it's always been that car that like, I got it, not planning a big build. I just wanted to enjoy it. So, Something uh, simple. So when, when parts come up that I like for it, I buy them and half the time I don't even film it. I just put them on and get to enjoy the process and stuff. Right. She always drives it. I drive it everywhere. Yeah. So. If you think it's not driven, it's driven. Yeah, she drives it. Yeah. I drive it here. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Right. Cause like, what was it? The, um, you have the Nissan with the Honda engine here, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I kind of saw that, saw like a glimpse of RJ, and then your mom was like sitting over there. I was yeah. like, all right, I'll be back. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, it was nice meeting you and everything. I really appreciate you being in my video. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Um, I guess I'll see you guys around. Yeah. We'll be here. Thanks a lot. Catch you next event.